everyone. Uh, sorry I haven't done a video in so long. Um, I've been crazy busy with work because um, uh, I work for the Postal Service and the last couple of months have been so busy and I've been getting so many extra hours and I haven't had time for anything. And then the last week I was actually really sick. I had a really bad cold and cough and then I got, I got a fever and I think I had a touch of the flu and it was so bad and ah, uh, but I'm better now and um, I, because of that sickness and busyness I haven't really had much time to do much crocheting but um, I have finished um, another Harry Potter scarf uh, this one I did in double crochet my last one I did in single crochet um, to make a little smaller because it was for my eight-year-old niece uh, this one is for a friend of mine for Christmas. I haven't seen her yet, which is why I still have it in my possession. Um, but I'll give it to her the next time I see her. Um, and she's actually really tall. She's about, um, I would say, 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, so, and she likes really big, long scarves. So I was planning to make it at least about 8 feet, but then I ran out of the burgundy yarn. Um and it's um i think it's just a little under seven feet somewhere between six and seven feet um i hope that's long enough for her because i know she likes them really long so she can like wrap them around a couple times but so yeah it turned out pretty good i like it and i also put some tassels on it pretty cute um also before christmas i was working on a uh, couple of stockings um, because my husband and I don't have stockings and I wanted to make stockings but I can get them done by Christmas so that would be my goal for next Christmas um, I only got a little bit of the way through one stocking that's the uh, top part of the stocking with the cuff and then it was gonna go down the heel and the toe but I, did, I didn't get anywhere near done and then I was gonna make another one with, uh, I think I was planning to just do like red and white. This one was going to be for my husband with green in it, and then I was going to make one for myself that was just red and white. Um, but yeah, it's as far as I got, and it's all uneven, and I don't know if I'm even gonna. I might just redo the whole thing again for next year. Um, I found a pattern for this online somewhere. I think I might still have it in my bookmarks, so I'll leave the uh, uh, link to it down below. Um, and also for next Christmas, I am planning to make a... Oh, um, this is my binder, by the way, where I print out free patterns online and save them in here. Um, I don't remember where, but I found a pattern for a table runner. I hope you can see it there. Um, I don't know if I still have the website for it or not. Well, it was from Red Heart, but I don't know if I have the specific page. I'll try to find it and put the link down below if I can find it. Um, the table runner looks really pretty, and um, if I had more time, I would have made it for Christmas this year. but. Of course I had no time, so for Christmas next year I'm going to do the stockings and the table runner. Um, Christmas projects aside, um, I'm planning to make a uh, couple of things in the next uh, month or so. Um, actually, I have a pattern in here that I found, I just googled because I wanted to make a hobo bag. And um, so I just googled ho hobo bag and there really aren't a lot of patterns online for the, the type of hobo bag I was looking for. But um, I actually found a bag that I kind of liked. Um, I don't know. If, um, it's kind of a small picture. Uh, I don't know if I have a big, well. Um, so there's. There's the bag there. I don't know if you can see it very well. But um, I'm actually going to alter it a bit because I want a long enough strap to like go over my shoulder and like across my body. And I might also alter it and make the bag a little bigger. Um, but I, I bought the yarn for this already. 
and I'll put the link to this down below too. Um, and so I'm going to start that ASAP. And then um, also um, from the Stitch and Bitch Happy Hooker book, um, I really want to make, there's a skirt in here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show the picture here and I'm trying not to show the pattern so I won't get into any like copyright trouble or anything. But I just want to show the picture so you know what skirt I'm talking about. Um, I really want to make this purple skirt here. It, it's really pretty and I think it's actually something I would actually wear. But I'm currently having trouble finding the right kind of yarn for it. Um, it's a cotton yarn obviously so it can be worn and washed. Um, but I'm having trouble finding, um, because in where I live, uh, we don't have the brand that this pattern calls for, and I've been trying to find other cotton yarns, and I'm not really having any luck. I'm probably going to have to buy some yarn, um, online somewhere. Um, but as soon as I can find the right yarn for it, I really want to make that skirt. And I have, there's a couple of patterns in this Crochet World magazine. It's an older issue from uh, August. Um, but there's um, a couple of things in here. Um, I'll just show the pictures on the back page. This, um, I forget what it's called, but it's a really pretty blanket. And it's made with like bright like purples and oranges and pinks and really pretty. And I, I really want to try that. And this flower here is actually a bookmark. I think I'm going to make that sometime too. Um, and that apple looks really cute. I just, I just want to make it to put on my desk. So I think I'm going to make one of those. Um, and there's a bunch of other really nice blankets and stuff in here that I might try. There's a, a grocery bag that I kind of want to try. So there, there's a lot of things in here that I'm going to make. So. Hopefully within the next um, month or two, I'll have a lot of time to to work on these. Um, I'm actually, there's an assignment coming up at work, so I'm going to be working long hours again for the next, I don't know how long, it could be a few months. So hopefully I'll have enough time to make a few of these things and um, I'll make another video and show off my work um, as soon as I get something done which I don't know when that will be, hopefully soon. Because um, like I said, I have the yarn already for the bag I'm going to make, so hopefully that won't take too long. Um, and um, also in a previous video, I showed you that uh, black, white, and gray granny square blanket I made. I think I might get some more of that yarn and enlarge that blanket because it's really warm and I really like it, but it's kind of small and doesn't really cover me the way I'd like it to so I'm probably going to enlarge that blanket as well if I can find any more of that yarn um so yeah hopefully um in the next few weeks I'll have more completed things to show you and um until then happy crocheting